Initiating recording device. Are you happy? Okay. What are we doing today? Well, it's November 8th, it's a Thursday, and we're doing LRTE. Well, not really. LRTE is a program we're going to write. But not today. Hang on. We're laying the groundwork for actually doing it tomorrow. What? Uh, we got two programs. We have LRTE and MTSC. LRTE, left some, right some, trap some, and the error for trap some. How good is trap some? We're going to try and figure out if the error term goes to zero in the limit. Okay? But first we've got to lay down a little groundwork. All righty? So here we go. I keep track of this. I can't see it. I hate this projector. Okay. If this projector were normal, I could probably see it. It says 04 something, right? All right. So let's refresh our memory. How do you calculate the area under the curve from 0 to 5? The curve being x squared. And remember, we did this already with a limit, right? But let me refresh your memory. How do you do it just with drawing a couple of rectangles? Let's say five rectangles, OK? Just doing five rectangles. I'm not doing the limit. I'm just an estimate, OK? Just a, just a, no, not even a summation. Just five rectangles. Well, small summation. All right? So let's say we draw it. And it's the function y equals x squared. So it goes through 0, 0, and it goes through 5, 25, let's say. All right, let's break this up into five equal pieces just for fun. It could be 10, 20, doesn't matter. And hopefully that's about right. I think it goes a little higher, but whatever. All right, so let's do this. Now, we did write sum. Let's do left sum. Let's see how left sum is different, okay? So let's draw a left sum rectangle. How high is the left sum if delta x is 1? How high is the first left sum? Uh, zero. zero, right? We used to take the height from here for a right sum. That would be f of 1, if this is 5, right? But, whoops, I lost my, I lost my shape. But now the height of the rectangle is 0. So basically, I don't have a rectangle. Now, the next one has a height of 1. So I'm going to draw it like this. Say, And the next one has a height at f of 2. Let's say that's 4. Because this is y equals x squared, right? Eh, I missed it. All right. And then a height at 3, which is f of 3 is 9. And a height at 4, which is f of 4 is 16. Uh, I don't like that one. So we're doing a left. And pretend it's correct, okay? So. So we're doing a left sum, and remember what we said, when f prime is positive, right sum overestimates, and left sum underestimates, right? Look how it's an underestimate of the error. Now we did a whole bunch of right sums uh, with a straight line, y equals x. Now I'm doing, we're doing it with the curve, all right? So what do you get? Well, what's the area? It's delta x is the base of every single rectangle, right? And the height, what's the first height? F of? 1, one which is 1, right? Plus F of 2, which is? 4. Because like, what did we say? This is x, this is the origin, this is y, and this is y equals x squared, right? OK. So F of 2 is this height. That's 2 squared is 4. F of 3 is this height. That would be 9. And then 16. And, well, I skipped it because it's 0, but it's there. The first height is 0. It's really not a rectangle. Now, remember the last time we ended at B, which would be 5 squared is 25? That's right sums. Which means do not include the 25. So don't include the 25, exactly. In right sum, you'll include the 25, not the 0. In left sum, you'll include the 0, not the 25. You've got to keep that in mind for writing the program tomorrow. That's why I'm doing this, to make it easy to write the program tomorrow. If you see patterns like that, it's going to be easy, OK? All right, add this up. What do you get? Oh, wait, delta x is what? It's delta x times f of 0, just to be complete, plus f of 1, plus f of 2, plus, 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 up to f of 4 is what we did, right? What's delta x, though? How big is delta x? It's 1, because didn't we say delta x is b minus a over n? In this example, b is 5, a is 0, and n is 5. So it's 5 over 5 is 1. So what do you get? Add this up? 30. 30. And that's an underestimate, isn't it? Look how low it's below the curve. We're, we're missing area, right? Okay. 
Let's do the same question, but now with the right sum and see that we get an overestimate. Yeah. Uh, no, wrong. F of four. Okay. That's just a four. <laughs> okay. So that's how you do a left sum. Let's do a right sum for the parabola. Let's see what you get. Did everyone get that? Are we okay? You got all this? Okay. Let's draw a um, right sum for the same problem. Su, su, su. Let's make a little axis and axes. And let's say it starts at 0, 0 and goes to 5, 25. And now the right sum will include 25, right? So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hopefully that lines up. Okay. And let's draw the right sums now. The right rectangles, the first height is f of 1. That's why it's an overestimate. And the next one is f of 2. And they're not equally spaced, but they should be. Pretend. Ech. Okay. And something like that. And something like that. I missed the bottom here. Pretend I didn't. And something like that. So it's clearly way overestimating, right? So how do you get the exact? That's what we're after. We'll get there. Hang on. Okay, so what do we get? Delta x, which is again 1, times who's the first height? f of what? f of 1 plus f of 2 plus f of 3 plus f of 4. Do we stop at f of 4 this time? No, go to f of 5. Okay. All right, so let's work this out. That's 1, because b minus a over n is 5 minus 0 over 5. f of 1 is 1 squared. f of 2 is 2 squared. f of 3 is 3 squared, right? So what do we get now? 55, though, isn't it? Because that's 10, and that's 20. So that's 30, and 25 is 55, right? So 55. And that's an overestimate. We know. Look at it. I mean, look how overestimated it is. But the answer is somewhere in between. This is like the sandwich theorem. As n gets larger and larger and larger, the underestimate for left sum gets bigger and bigger and bigger, goes to the right answer. The right sum, the overestimate, gets smaller and smaller and smaller, going to the right answer. The answer is sandwiched in between, the sandwich theorem. Okay. What about trap sum? Trapezoids. Have you done that? Let's talk about trapezo trapezoids and see how we can make it easy when we write our program tomorrow. Let's do the same question with trapezoids. All right, how's the time looking? Eight already? Oh, God. You know, you can't do anything in 10 minutes. OK. Well, I'm trying to explain stuff. All right, you want me to go fast? I'm sure I could do it. OK. Zero, zero to 525, OK? Now, let's see. I'm going to draw it this way. Let's put an altitude here. That's not an altitude. Or a base of a trapezoid, right? Right here. Why isn't it? Nah. It keeps on moving when I let go. Whatever. And here. And here. And here. And here. Or pretend it touches, OK? I can't pretend. Fine, it touches. There it is. <laughs> I don't like this one, but it's there, okay? Now, look why, is trapezoid going to be an overestimate or an underestimate? Well, I didn't finish drawing. It's slightly too much. Look, it's a little bit above the curve. These little straight lines here, that's the top of the trapezoid, a little bit too high, a little bit too much area there, see it? Little, but it's a really good, a really close approximation, better than what we had. So trap is going to be better, okay, but it's still an overestimate. Now, notice, when f double prime is positive, what does that mean? Increasing? No, that's f prime is positive. When f double prime is positive, concave up, trap overestimates. And mid sums, did you ever do a mid sum? We'll do that tomorrow. Underestimate. OK? Ah, hang on. We're going to get there. We got it perfect with the limits we did yesterday, but we're going to get uh, convergence tables with the program. Okay? So how do you do it? Well, remember the area of a trapezoid. 
there's two bases. The parallel sides are called bases. So we take the average of the bases over two. The average of the bases, right? Times the height. Okay, yeah. It's 10. Okay. Well, all right. What we're going to do is we're going to show that trap is simply left plus right over two. It's 30 plus 55 over two or 85 halves. Okay, YouTube, you got to go away. See ya. <laughs>